Minecraft Earth. Is it awesome? Yes. No, no, that that's not the end of the video. Hey guys, it's me, Nels the Awesome. I'm here, and well, Minecraft Earth. Minecraft Earth is a spin-off of the game Minecraft and was announced by Mojang back in May of this year. When I first heard about it, man was I excited, because it's an augmented reality game where you can place Minecraft into the real world. The idea sounded super cool to me and I was just super excited for the game to eventually be released. The beta was released in October in a few countries so that some people could play. But I had to wait until mid-November until the early access was finally released in the US. I was so excited launching it for the first time, seeing the Mojang screen, the Minecraft Earth screen, and after downloading some content, I was finally ready to play. I was greeted with an iron golem telling me to be careful and a nice little welcome screen. Now funny enough, it greeted me with my stupid little skin that I created when I was messing around with the new Minecraft skin creator. I went into the skin creator here and I wanted to see if it was any different than the one I saw inside of Minecraft and it's pretty much the same, but I noticed in Minecraft Earth that the character seems to do these little animations and it's pretty funny. But I'd like to add that I really think they should add the feature to use your own custom skin like you can in Minecraft because they only have it so you can use the skins from the marketplace and the skins from the skin creator and I want to use my skin that I use for my Minecraft character. When I got into the map I was instantly reminded of another mobile augmented reality based game. They are not even trying to be subtle about it at all. This is just a Minecraft version of Pokemon Go and I'm completely down for it. It was then I was introduced to my very first tappable. They're called tappables because you tap on them. Yeah. But yeah it was pretty cool from the stone I got cobblestone. Who would have thunk it? Also got a mushroom, so that's cool. I noticed that when I collected the tapable, I got XP for it, and I thought that was super cool as well. It was then, since I don't really go on walks like you're supposed to do with this game, that I just got addicted to collecting tapables every single time that me and my family went out of the house. It's cool that when you're in a car, it renders your player in a minecart, but the driving too fast thing is so... <laughs> Oh, annoying. Especially considering I can't collect tapables unless I'm with my parents going somewhere. I know it's the same in Pokemon Go, and I know it's to stop people from driving while playing, but come on, it's so annoying. I feel like this game would be a lot more fun if I could actually just walk around and collect stuff, and this game makes me want to maybe try going on a walk, but <laughs> no. Then I leveled up, so that's pretty noise. Honestly, I had no idea they were going to add crafting and smelting to this game, so that was a surprise to me, but I'm really happy that they did, because that adds a lot more possibility to what you can do and what you can have in this game. So instead of only being able to just find the stuff, you can use the stuff you find to craft more stuff. So it's actually pretty hard to make a video about this game because most of the gameplay I recorded, most of the gameplay in general is just going around and collecting stuff, and I don't know if it's really that entertaining and that interesting if you don't have footage of me going around and I'm not going around walking around collecting stuff. Like when Pokemon Go was the whole rage thing, there were so many videos about people playing Pokemon Go. They record themselves going around exploring and it felt like an adventure and I can't really do that here, but um, maybe someday, maybe me and Jeremy can get together, we can just go to a park or something, try to go exploring. We could go on a little adventure and then both of us would just switch between being the cameraman and being the person playing the game and I feel like that could be a lot of fun and it's funny because here I was just going shopping with my mom and there just so happened to be a chest inside of the Kroger and there was a note block inside I was just like there's some note blocks they have note blocks in Kroger also I really like the challenges system I wasn't expecting that to be in the game either and I'm really glad it is because it makes you want to play the game more by doing certain stuff you can get more XP and level up more also I really love the ambience with the Minecraft music playing in the background but also mixed in with sound effects of birds chirping, ambience from Minecraft, and ambience from real life Earth. It was then when I got home I wanted to test out the whole building part of Minecraft Earth. Well first I just pressed play so I could see Minecraft come to our world life size. It was so weird to see a Minecraft chicken just walk out of the Minecraft into my house just standing there. Just standing there in my real life house just staring at me like, what's your problem? Never seen a chicken before. It was so cool to have to walk to where I needed to go in real life to traverse inside of the little Minecraft build player. And this was probably the closest I'll get to VR Minecraft for a while. <laughs> After messing around in the play mode, life size mode for a bit, I decided to go into the build mode and just place the little build plate 
on top of my table. Man, I've wanted to do that ever since they did that Minecraft demo with the HoloLens. To be honest, you don't really know what to do at first. You're just overwhelmed with the fact that you have a piece of a Minecraft world on top of your table in real life and you're looking at it. I then decided to use the play mode again, except I wanted to go outside and I wanted to experience what it would be like to actually just play in the Minecraft world outside. Being outside is way better. Man, I never thought I'd say that. Because when I'm outside in my yard, I can just traverse the entire yard and walk around the entire build play and I just feel like so cool because I'm just walking around this little Minecraft place and interacting with the blocks and the chickens that occasionally fall outside of the build play and just stand on top of the actual ground. They didn't need to add that little feature where there's just an invisible little outer area where mobs can actually stand on and look like they're standing in the real world. But man, it's such a nice little touch. And yeah, I wanted to see what it would be like actually just chopping down a tree Minecraft style in real life. I then went into the crafting menu, I wanted to craft a little bit of wooden planks because I wanted to try to build the house. But before that, I just kind of went overboard and started spawning in all of the mobs I had. And while my parents were probably just wondering what I was doing and probably just thought I was crazy, I was there building a little Minecraft house on the floor. Also, my friend pointed out to me that my neighbors probably would have thought I was crazy seeing me just running around in my backyard on my phone <laughs> attacking imaginary chickens. It's not really a big house and it's not really a good house, but I didn't want to use the entire build plate. I just wanted to build it on a little portion of the build plate so I could have some of the grass and water still there. I then placed my little house into the backyard and had a little fun just walking around some more. It was just super nice to be able to open the door and actually just enter my own little house. And apparently I'm a little taller than the average Minecraft player, but... <laughs> Yeah, I put my little red sun lamp there, turned it on, looking at the outside from inside of my Minecraft house. It's just super cool. I even played with Ruby a bit because she started running away from me for no reason. And I just had a lot of fun because I started chasing her around. <laughs> Thanks, Minecraft, for uh, getting me to go out side for once and i leveled up and got a new build played at level five oh, just let me collect tappables while i'm in the car i've been playing the game by myself a lot just going around collecting tappables and i managed to collect two rare poke two rare mobs also in the new build plate they had a little steve a little mob of me mob it's just it's so cute just the little minecraft character just standing there and then i just took the little mob of me guy and i put him in my little house and look he's just he transferred to being my character instead of being steve and he's just there just standing in the little house and it's so cute <laughs> i just realized if a lot of people compare minecraft to playing with legos then minecraft earth is definitely like playing with legos because you have the small little build plate put it on your tabletop or on the floor this is Playing with Legos, the video game, <laughs> except the Legos are alive and moving around. The other build plate also had an underground section where I took this bed from, so now I have a little bed in the little house, and it's super cool. Honestly, I don't really know what else to say about this game other than it's just fun. It's fun to take a little bite-sized tiny piece of Minecraft and use your camera to put it into the real world with unique mobs, unique to this game, and going around in real life and just tapping on stuff, collecting resources, and just using those resources to just build stuff. Build stuff on your tabletop and put it in life size and put it in your backyard. Walk around. Move. If you have a redstone stuff, you can do like I saw in a video where he built a timer and then activated by two pressure plates. And he ran in real life from one pressure plate to the other. And he timed how fast he ran with my game minecraft <laughs> it was super cool and i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be really creative with this and a lot of people that are gonna go around adventuring collecting resources and doing the i'm pretty sure there's dungeons there's like missions dungeons i forget what they're called but i haven't seen any especially because i don't go actually walking around but i really want to try to find one of those I think that would be a lot of fun. This game is just fun and I'm glad that Mojang made this. 
and I'm glad it exists and I'm gonna keep playing it. I'm gonna keep every time I go out, every time I'm in the car, I'm gonna be on Minecraft Earth <laughs> looking for resources and then getting frustrated whenever it says traveling too fast. And yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoy this video. This video was kind of different than my normal video. It's more short and it's not really me my live reaction to me playing the game and me doing live commentary while I'm playing. It's more just me doing a review of the game and me telling you guys about how I've been playing the game and how I've been feeling about the game and how much fun I've been having and how much I've been enjoying it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I think that's going to be the end. So if you guys like this video, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you later. Awesome. Goodbye.